the community, accusing an investor and senior politicians of turning it into a private entity. For this and much more, take a look at the stories making headlines in the counties. Yala residents are accusing government agencies of complacency in enforcing the relevant environment laws, exposing them to suffering at the hands of well-connected individuals. They lamented that both investors and the county government had abandoned them in the attempt to profit from a piece of the swamp while preserving some acreage for wildlife. Led by Walter Otieno, chairman of the Swamp Community Organization, they decried that investors and land grabbers were now evicting them from the wetland by plowing their fields. You don't just say I'm so and so. People doing what they are your duties mechanically. We have learned that the water department here has done some tests on water. The problem is the people here did not have that report. <laughs> Elsewhere in Embu County, market merchants in Kangaru have condemned an abandoned modern market that costs taxpayers millions of shillings but is not in use. The sellers expressed their dissatisfaction with the market's location, exposing it to insecurity and underutilization. <laughs> Still on dissatisfied citizens, residents in Mula, Bungoma County, have lodged a complaint over foul smell and waste spilling from Bungoma prison sewage to their homes when it's raining, a matter that has been long reported but no action taken. However, according to Bungoma County Commissioner Samuel Kimiti, a report has been made to relevant authorities awaiting resolutions. We've also come up with a way forward on how to address these issues because we are all the consumers of the of good environment. There are issues of uh, funding and we have escalated these issues uh, to the ministry through the respective department. Daphne Orina, KUTV.